Are you ready to get started with our reading today? Hey, hey, I know I am because we are reading all about sharks. We are going to read the book called Sharks by Anne Schreiber. And this book is going to teach us all about what? That's right, sharks. And sharks can do all types of things. They have all different types of things. Um, and we're going to learn more about them. Do you know any information about sharks before we start our reading? Yeah, they can have sharp teeth. We know that they can swim fast. Um, I know one of you were probably like, they eat people. Probably not true. They have attacked, but usually they leave people alone if you leave them alone. Okay, so I'm excited to get started reading with you. Remember, this is a nonfiction text. We know that nonfiction books are going to teach us real information, right? So we have to be on the lookout for some new knowledge. We can learn new things. We can see the different pictures with the captions and labels. The author is going to give us a main idea of what the book is all about. And we are going to learn more about sharks. I'm so excited. Let's, let's dive on in. Chomp. What is quick? What is quiet? What has five rows of teeth? What glides through the water? Chomp. It's a shark. Sharks live in all of Earth's oceans. They have been here for a long time. Sharks were here before dinosaurs. A shark is a fish, but a shark is not like other fish. Sharks do not have bones. They have soft cartilage instead. Cartilage helps sharks twist and turn. Cartilage helps sharks move and bend. So we see that there's a caption right here. There's some labels. Look at that. The author labeled the teeth and the tail. This is called a hammerhead shark. And the cartilage is what their body is made up of. So that's how they can bend and swim quick. Shark pups. Oh, look at that title. Shark babies are called pups. Some pups grow inside their mothers. Other pups hatch from eggs. Lemon shark pups grow inside their mothers. The lemon shark mother goes to shallow water to give birth. That means she goes to water that's closer to the top of the ocean. The pups stay near the shallow water until they are grown. Swell shark pups hatch from eggs. The mother sharks lay the eggs in hard cases. People call the case a mermaid's purse. Swell shark mothers lay up to five egg cases at a time. In nine months, the swell shark pups are born. So look at that. Look at that, how they come out of the, the shell. And it kind of looks like mermaid purse. That's so cool. Pups grow up. When shark pups grow up, they are awesome predators. That means they hunt. They have many ways to sense their prey. Did you know a shark can smell blood from miles away? It can smell one drop of blood in 25 million drops of ocean. Sharks can see better than humans can. Even in deep, dark water, a shark can see its prey. Sharks take a test bite of prey before eating. Their taste buds tell them if the prey is fat enough to eat. Whoa, look at that. What big teeth you have. Ah, sharks have many rows of teeth. They are always losing some teeth. They are always growing new teeth. Shark, a shark uses up more than 10,000 teeth in its life. Whoa. Baby. That's a lot of teeth. Different sharks have different teeth. Their teeth are perfect for what they eat. So if we look, the author has different pictures and different words to match. So we see long spiky teeth for catching food, 
Flat teeth are for grinding food. Separated teeth are for ripping food. And this is prehistoric sharks. So that's when they were like before dinosaurs um, or during when the dinosaurs lived. So the Megalodon is a prehistoric shark. Scientists made a life-size model of the Megalodon's jaw and put in the teeth they have found. Look at those little kids inside. Can you imagine a shark that big? Whew. Imagine this. A giant shark is gliding through the water. A swimmer is nearby. The shark gets closer. It is huge. It opens its giant mouth and sucks in a mouthful of water. The swimmer is fine. The shark is a whale shark. Whale sharks are the biggest sharks, but they have tiny teeth. They eat tiny animals called plankton. So if you look, the scuba diver is right here in the corner. Look at how big the whale shark is compared to this teeny tiny person. Crazy. Blue ribbon sharks. <clears throat> there are... <clears throat> Blue ribbon sharks. There are about 375 different kinds of sharks. So we have the hammerhead shark, the smallest of the spined pygmy shark. That's the smallest kind of shark. The creepiest shark is the great white shark. And the fastest is the meku shark. Look at that. Very cool, interesting facts. Now you see them. The lantern shark. Look at that label. Some sharks glow in the dark. Do you see shiny in the water? Uh, some sharks glow in the dark. Do you see something shiny in the water? Watch out! The tiny lantern shark is covered with a glow in the dark slime. The lantern shark is a deep sea shark. Many deep sea animals glow. Scientists think glowing might help predators attract prey. Now you don't. Most sharks are hard to see. They have a dark back. From above, they blend in with the water. They have a white belly. From below, they blend in with the sky. Some sharks have special ways to hide. Wobbegongs have colors like the seafloor. Their mouth have parts that look like seaweed. Fish swim in, but they can't get out. So, look at that shark. If you look closely, you can see it. It blends with its environment. Shark attack! One day, Bethany Hamilton went surfing. Suddenly, a tiger shark attacked. It tugged her as she held onto her surfboard. It took a big bite out of her surfboard. It also took Bethany's left arm. After the attack, Bethany wanted to keep surfing. She is not afraid to go in the water. She knows that shark attacks are rare. So, remember how I said some of you might have said sharks eat people? Well, they don't really eat people, but sometimes people get attacked by them. And if they're in the same waters or the sharks feel threatened. So look at that. This surfer was still brave enough to go back and surf again. Would you go back and surf again? People attack. Shark attacks are scary and terrible. Sharks can be a danger to people, but people are a bigger danger to sharks. Millions of sharks die in nets set to catch other fish. Others are killed on purpose. Many types of sharks may become extinct. Sharks have been on Earth for millions of years. Sharks and people need to learn to share the sea. Did you guys love that reading about sharks? I know I did. It was filled with so much information and some new things that I never knew. I never knew that some sharks come out of a mermaid purse egg that kind of looks like a mermaid and a purse all in one crazy what did you learn that you thought was interesting awesome i can't wait to get writing about our reading later and i really loved how the author in this i really loved how the author in this book had so many pictures so many captions and had lots of labels for us to know what was happening in the pictures. So I thought that was really awesome. All right, my beauties, I hope you enjoyed this book about sharks today, and I will see you later. Bye!